turning 20 here. I'm here with the legendary Benny Grabe. Hi. And uh, I was just wondering, uh, pros and cons in NAMM, man. What do you got for everybody? What do you got for the fans? Well, let's start with the pros. Um, NAMM is always something when new equipment comes out, where nice equipment comes out. And um, one second. <laughs> People don't know how to uh, yeah. mind their own business. People play on stuff. That's a con. <laughs> That's con. A con. <laughs> no pro is you see new stuff. You meet a lot of friends uh, that you knew over the years. So That's nice. The con is that it's very loud. And uh, but I love it here. I like it here. I like coming here, and I lo love all the craziness about it. So I'm fine. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, what's up? NAM 2020, I'm here with Daniel Gallardo. What's good? If you haven't met him, super sick drummer, uh, up and coming Instagram, YouTube, everything. Uh, just got one question, man. Uh, pros and cons of NAM. What, what you got? Okay, well, you get to see a lot of vendors and a lot of cool stuff. Uh, you get to kind of talk to people you want to talk to endorsement wise, get to talk to a lot of awesome musicians. Like Benny Grubb is right behind, it's like on the other side of the camera. So that's a huge pro. Uh, the only con, I guess it's two, is people and then parking. There's just so many people, yes. and yes. parking is crazy. Like, I was supposed to, we were supposed to get, like, special parking, I guess, but we ended up parking at Disneyland, which is, like, 25 bucks, <laughs> because everything was full. So, that's the only downside. Yeah, I, I feel that. I totally feel it. Awesome, man. Awesome seeing you, and, uh, yeah. Where can people find you? Just throw out your Instagram real quick. Uh, Daniel J. Gallardo Music. If you look that up, you'll find it. Also, if you look up Daniel Gallardo on YouTube, you'll find it. I do my best to link everything in one place, so it should kind of spread out so you can see everything. But, yeah. That's yeah. It. Dude is seriously blowing up. Like, for real, he's getting bigger and bigger every year. Don't sleep on him. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right. <laughs>
That's me. I'm Tosh. Tosh, Tosh underscore the drummer. I am. Get at him. Uh, just quick question, bro. What's your favorite rudiment? Uh, I like double paradiddles with the accent on the two. Okay. That's really fucking cool. Fuck yeah. Where can everybody find you besides uh, the underscore? YouTube, right? Uh, yeah, I'm on YouTube a little bit. It's mostly just Instagram, Tosh underscore the drummer. Okay. That's me. Insta, get at him. All right, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, bro. What's up, guys? Day one, complete NAN 2020, baby. Um, I didn't do a lot of talk in the beginning. It was kind of a whole lot of run and gun. Met a lot of cool people first thing and did some interviews and stuff. Um, that was day one. Tomorrow, I'm going to try to do a little bit more talking, a little bit more vlog action. But yeah, it was sick, man. I just got back home. I had actually drove all the way from Ventura. Now I'm back up here. Started raining a little bit. Um, so the roads got a little slippery, but... It's all good. I'm about to go get some ice cream with my woman. And yeah, man, day one, complete success. Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Day number two. Let's get it. Walking to my car right now. About to make the drive. Get there around 12.30. Let's interview some more people. Let's get it. Yo, what's up, guys? I'm here with the man, Thomas Pridgen. Yo. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? All right, man. One question, one question only. Your favorite rudiment? Right now, my favorite rudiment is the double paradiddle, the double drag paradiddle. That's okay. my favorite one because a lot of people don't play double paradiddles, and a lot of people don't play double paradiddle drags. So right now, I guess that's my favorite rudiment right now. Nice. All right, man. Good, good meeting you, bro. Thank Thanks. You, man. Appreciate Have it. a good man. Yeah. What's up, guys? I'm here with Eric and Proda. And uh, I just have one question, man. If you had to pick one, lose both of your arms or both of your legs, which one would it be? It's got to be one or the other. It can't yeah. be like half and half. Yeah. I got to do legs. Legs. Because I, I draw uh, also. Yeah, sorry, yeah. And I don't know if I can pull that with my feet. Yeah, you have to put the marker like between your toes and shit. Yeah, and like eating. Yeah. Eating with, without legs seems a lot easier than eating without arms. So yeah. if I have to give an answer, that's it. Okay, cool. Awesome, man. Nice meeting you, bro. Likewise. Yo, what's up? Uh, real quick, I uh, just want to talk. Uh, shit. So real quick, uh, big issue with NAM, parking and traffic. But let's talk about parking real quick. Um, obviously, I am in a parking garage right now, and it's really hard to find parking unless you pay like 25 to 50 bucks and you get here early because otherwise the lots are going to be all full. Um, besides that, quick recommendation, unless you want to try to squeeze in like a little spot that's not supposed to be parking, but it is in the parking garages, like the ones with like the little lines and shit, I actually did that last year, you could try to do that, I haven't had any issues, so hopefully you don't either if you go that route, but um, actually what I did this year, I actually went to a restaurant and just park, you just got to walk a little bit, maybe like a mile and a half, two miles, but hey, it's free parking, and nobody's going to bother you. Hopefully, I don't get back there now and I have a big ticket on my windshield. That would look super bad. <laughs> but yeah, so parking is super hard. Traffic, that's a whole nother beast. You can't really fight that. But yeah, just a little quick tip for you guys. Let's get back in here and uh, get some more interviews. Yo, I just met up with my boy David hey. Cola Drums. What's up, friends and fam? My name is David Cola. What's up? <laughs> and he plays the drums. This guy is a fucking legend. Um, quick question, man. What's up? Most underrated drummer, 2020. The most underrated drummer, in my opinion, is Andy Prado. I feel like not enough, not enough people know who Andy is. He's a god. He's a legend. He's one of my favorite drummers. So go check him out, Andy Prado Jr. on Instagram. He's yeah. killing. He's check killing. him and check out this guy, David Cola Drums. Nah. Fucking killing it, boy. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. Right, no problem. Guys. Yeah, love you.
up guys, NAM 2020, day two, kicking my butt man. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it a day, there's a lot more people here than yesterday. Uh, about to head back home and hey man, we did it. So appreciate you guys, if you watch this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right.